Hello and welcome to this tutorial about our new app, the Geronimo R66 Cockpit Trainer. The R66 Cockpit Trainer is available for iPad and iPhone and you can use it in uh, portrait and landscape mode as in this example here and I switch now to portrait mode um, which is the better which has the better view option because you can see more from the whole cockpit design as you can see here you can uh, zoom in and out you can zoom in real close and you can see all the instruments in very good quality and uh, for this tutorial uh, we go just through um, the basic scenarios you can um, check or select scenarios here in this menu uh, you can you see the various faults that you could set up the hot start starter sluggish MG, mgt residual heat engine oil failure and you can also go through a regular start and for this tutorial we will do so and um, here you can bring up the checklist also on the checklist you can also zoom in and you can move the checklist uh, around the screen and leave it uh, position it wherever you need it um, and um, the free version of this app starts here with the starting engine and run-up checklist battery strobe switch is on and goes all the way uh, through N1 stable at 65% so you can uh, go through a complete startup procedure uh, when you purchase the um, extra features in this app available in the main menu then you can also include the before starting engine checklist you always see the um, uh, items from the checklist down here in um, this um, bottom line here where you see battery switch on so this would be your next task then so let's zoom in a little bit so we can see and uh, let's go through it so battery switch is on strobe switch on igniter key enable area clear of course we cannot simulate this so we have a check button here so if you click on the uh, on this then we assume that the area is clear Fuel cutoff, pull off. So this is one of the most important steps when you uh, to avoid a hot start in the R66. So you pull, make sure you pull um, the fuel cutoff all the way out. Now make sure the throttle is closed. And to simulate this, or to uh, yeah simulate this on an uh, iPad, just um, we see this white mark here. So just um, move. Um, this white mark all the way to the right uh, to simulate that you have closed the throttle. Now we can initiate the start sequence. So we push start button, and then you will hear this uh, the starter. Now next step is N1 check. So just click on the instrument to confirm that uh, N1 is rising rising through 15%. And when it does, introduce fuel. Make sure MGT. Um, is within limits, make sure the engine lights goes out, make sure MGT and confirm 25% N1, also confirm oil pressure is increasing and when all that is okay just tap here to confirm that you are stable at 65 to 67%. So this is then actually the complete starting pre, um, procedure with no faults at all. So let's do another example here. Choose from the scenario. We choose hot start. Now same thing again. Battery switch on. Strobe on. Igniter key enabled. Area clear. Fuel cut off. Put off. Throttle closed. Start button. Push and release. confirm N1 is rising through 15%. You can confirm that a little bit earlier so you have time to confirm both N1 and MGT. Now push on and now we see that MGT is rising and will give you a hot start in that scenario. So now in order to avoid this hot start you would have to pull uh, the fuel cutoff off. So let's do this. We click restart and now we can simulate or go through this uh, hot start procedure again. So battery switch on, strobe on, igniter key enable, check the area, fuel cutoff pull off, throttle closed, start button push, N1 again we can confirm earlier, MGT is within or below 150. Now introduce fuel. 
and if I introduce fuel too early I will get this warning here because uh, you have to wait until N1 is rising through at least 12 uh, to 15 percent so let's try again battery on strobe on ignite a key enabled check area fuel cutoff pull off throttle closed start button push and release begin timing is done by the app by the way you see here and the timer is running so confirm both now wait until you have reached 15 percent now introduce fuel check MGT and if MGT is rising too fast then um, just pull off the fuel cutoff wait at least 10 seconds and then switch the igniter key off so this was a quick introduction to this app um, I hope you like it. Again, you can purchase the in-app uh, purchase to enable extra features. Uh, however, with the features that are enabled in the free version, you can go all, uh, through uh, all necessary checks. And with the no error mode, actually, you can also bring up the uh, cyclic here, move this around and check it out. Uh, you can also move the, um, um, you can open the friction and move the collective, can check the pedals. Um, apply rotor brake, seat belts, and everything, uh, and all these items are enabled in um, the in-app purchase feature package. All right, yeah, I hope um, you like the app and let us know your feedback. Thank you very much.